Now an update to the I-Team's continuing coverage of more than 50 complaints against a local cemetery. Since last night's story, we've discovered Beaches Memorial Park may now be for sale. Someone posted the information on Craigslist last week, a day after our I-Team went to investigate another claim of a botched service at the cemetery. Jennifer Waugh has that family's story and more on this possible sale. This is the Craigslist ad. In fact, you can see it's titled Must Sell. There's also a typo here. Now, whomever posted it described the sale as sacrificing, listing the price at $900,000. It also says, if you look closely, no reasonable offer refused, suggesting the seller is in a hurry. Now, the ad does not list the name of the funeral home and cemetery for sale. We responded to it asking if it is Beaches Memorial Park, since the ad also includes this map right here, listing the property as being off of Mayport Road in Atlantic Beach. Beaches Memorial Park is the only cemetery in Atlantic Beach and has been the subject of our I-Team investigation for more than two months. The latest involves startling video recorded by a family who says their mother didn't deserve to be buried in such disgrace. This is not what one Jacksonville family expected to see as they laid their mother to rest. A cemetery worker hauling away a vault placed in Martha Brown's burial plot because it was the wrong vault. My mom didn't deserve this. Doris Brown says Beaches Memorial Park offered to transfer her mother's casket to its hearse while the vault was replaced. But she says the hearse was disgusting. Video captures her reaction when she looked inside. My mama don't need to be in this. It was terrible. It was, it had a horrible smell. It was torn in the inside. She didn't deserve this, you know. My mom deserved the rest in peace. Martha Brown's family had no choice but to perform the committal service, usually conducted at the graveside, with the casket still in the hearse. It took nearly three hours for Martha Brown to finally be buried. It was family and friends who had to lower her casket into the ground. The cemetery's owner was nowhere to be found. But he didn't apologize to us. Brown is referring to John Rayan. According to state records, his wife Amanda owns the cemetery. This is video of them working during a funeral earlier this month. We spotted the car John Rayan usually drives when we arrived during Brown's service. It was parked behind the cemetery's office. But the only person to emerge was a young girl who delivered a casket tag to funeral director Sarah Carter. I'm professional disgraceful, shameful. Carter conducted the funeral service at the church, but has no control over the actual burial. Nothing takes place here at Beaches Memorial Supply surprises me. She's frustrated, especially since Martha Brown's family says John Rayan charged them for this vault, even though it had already been paid for years ago. My understanding when I paid for it, I paid for everything. Eddie Brown has the certificate of ownerships for the two vaults purchased for his mother and father. But he says John Rayan insisted he pay $1,095 for another vault if he wanted his mother buried at the Atlantic Beach Cemetery. Brown says he felt he had no choice but to pay again because his parents wanted to be buried next to each other. They played together as little kids. He used to push her on the tricycle and during their school years, from what my dad told me and what my mom told me, uh, my dad used to say to her, you're going to be my wife, you're going to be my wife, I'm going to marry you. And then they married and ended up being together for 58 years until death separated them. Me and my mom were best friends. Uh, we were everything because I, I took care of her. So we were always together. So this is really, really difficult for me. And we intended to knock on the cemetery's door after interviewing the family to get the Ray inside of this story, but they left as we were finishing the interviews. In fact, take a look at this video. That's Rayan's car, the white one there at the stop sign. It looks like the driver paused for several seconds and then slowly drove away from us. When we called the cemetery. The owner still has not returned my call, nor has Amanda Rayan returned the email I sent her for comment. We have been waiting nearly two weeks now for someone from the state office that regulates funeral homes and cemeteries to respond to our request for an on-camera interview. Our request, we're told, is still being processed. 
We are driving, by the way, to Tallahassee tomorrow to attend a meeting of the Board of Funeral, Cemetery, and Consumer Services. We plan to ask what the state is doing to hold Beaches Memorial Park responsible for what has been happening to all of these families. We'll let you know.